So welcome everyone. A very good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Vivek Goyal, your nephrology faculty at Doc Tutorials, and we have with us none other than Dr. Smita Patel, who has got a very very good score of three zero four in the recent NEED Super Speciality Entrance Exam of Nephrology, and has secured a prestigious rank of sixteen. So first of all, very very big congratulations, Dr. Smita. Thank you so much. Superb. So first things first, Smita, can you just take us? through those first 30 40 seconds when you first saw your score and so how did it feel like and what happened exactly take us through that moment so actually uh, i had checked my score so it was 304 so i was not sure whether it is mine or not so i asked my friend to recheck it again because i was a bit disappointed after my neat in his ss rank uh, because i couldn't fetch a seat so i was looking for the seat and uh, i got 304 so i was very happy i uh, celebrated it superb so how did you celebrate it tell us say tell us take us to the celebration yes sir we ordered sweets and uh, from swiggy superb superb so it's a very very amazing feeling uh, to have secured such a good rank so smita can you just introduce yourself in brief where are you from where have you done your education from So myself, Dr. Smita Bhatti. I'm born in Bharat, in Maharashtra, and T to UG and T T from Maharashtra itself, from the Prasanna Bhavan Medical College and Naya Hospital, Mumbai. Okay. Particular. Okay. And when did you complete your uh, MD? So actually, I passed uh, MD medicine in September 2021. So this is the very first attempt of yes, Dr. Smita, yes. and in the very first attempt, she has secured such a prestigious rank, and that is all the more reason to mm-hmm. all you know superb performance by Dr. Smita. So first things first, Dr. Smita, can you just tell us why are you have you chosen nephrology as the subject that you are going to marry for the rest of your life? Actually, uh, during our second year, we have got uh, super speciality posting. So I used to read respective system during that period only. So I started developing interest in nephrology. Like uh, I was not getting bored of that subject. I could read it continuously without getting bored. And I used to like uh, patient and uh, मतलब हाउ कैन वी प्रिवेंट समवन फ्रॉम लैंडिंग इनटू कॉम्प्लिकेशन लाइक हाउ कैन वी प्रिवेंट ए के फ्रॉम डेवलपिंग इनटू सी के डी सो दैट अर्ली पिक अप एंड हाउ कुड वी चेंज द सिनेरियो ऑल टुगेदर सो एंड एक्चुअली आई स्टार्टेड रीडिंग हैरिसन पार्ट फर्स्ट फ्रॉम ड्यूरिंग माय नेफ्रोलॉजी पोस्टिंग्स आई स्टार्टेड अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट बेटर सो आई स्टार्टेड रीडिंग इट फ्रॉम अप टू डेट आई हैडंट स्टार्टेड क्लियरली दैट टाइम ओके ओके So, uh, can you just tell us uh, what interests most in nephrology to you? Is it the glomerular diseases? Is it the no, dialysis? No, 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 no. Is it the transplant? Is it the peritoneal dialysis? So you've already said it is glomerular diseases. And why do you say so? So because actually uh, the way they present and the uh, way we can pick it up and change, uh, we can get treated and it can easily uh, reverse. So we can so when the how it is more like a puzzle puzzle thing. So I started developing uh, interest in nephrology, and it is a very systematic uh, system to learn. Like we can develop, uh, divide diseases into vascular part, then glomerular part, and glomerular also we can divide the disease systematically. So I started liking this subject more. So what she is saying is, you know, nephrology is one of those subjects which is very very close associated with other subjects as well. As mm-hmm. you know, Dr. Suman has already said. it is very close to internal medicine and you know glomerular disease especially you know because there is an overlap of autoimmune diseases rheumatology so it's mm-hmm. a big puzzle and it is very very enigmatic to study those diseases and how the course unfolds a large chunk of it is also treatable so as compared to some other subjects like maybe in neurology there could be a big portion of untreatable diseases there are big diagnosis but mm-hmm. treatment is nothing but in nephrology you can revert unless mm-hmm. it has already progressed to ckd that is absolutely correct so now just take us through your journey of md residency how did you approach it what did you do what will you recommend to your juniors and the fellow viewers to do so that they become as successful doctors as you are on the path of becoming actually sir in my first year i didn't get any time to read anything so i just used to read like uh, i even i were i used to see ecgs and then i said i used to read that respective part like cgs case then that much a uh, little bit of that i used to read that uh, the during second year i started reading harrison 
so during our so super specialty for hosting wise i give my aim was to finish the system during that period only uh, we were having nephrology hosting for one month and my aim was to finish that system in that one month only so i could uh, utilize uh, third year for revising the system so i started reading harrison in second year then i did it very systematically prepared my own notes then i started revising in third year uh, harrison itself then actually uh, during my second year i had made a plan to do uh, dn nephrology but i was not uh, considering it as like uh, i was not behind it to crack in the very first attempt so my aim was to read harrison thoroughly first to get acquainted with it so i kept reading harrison 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 only so uh, then uh, in the september month of then uh, nv declared that the exam will be like old pattern so i was very happy uh, the after md and the exam i started reading revising harrison again so i thought ki i could get the seat in this attempt only because it is harrison based so then uh, at the end of uh, september or october nv again uh, changed the pattern to old pattern so it like 60 40 so i subscribed doc tutorial that time and i started uh, in the september itself i started uh, giving uh, a light test of doc tutorial like a medicine group it was uh, that time it was like medical portion only so tests were very good so i planned to join nephrology course in that doc tutorial itself so i started uh, giving test in uh, october nephrology core nephrology preparation started in october because i had finished till september i had revised harrison and i was sure that medical part is my okay i can get through it so the main aim was to finish super specialty part during those three months to utilize uh, them to fullest the doctor tell came to my help because the test was uh, conducted like a chapter wise test that was a main thing so i could uh, read, uh, read that chapter give test i could get to know what my lacunas are so i can work on it and uh, i i so started reducing my uh, wrongs so and the questions in the test were also good some questions like uh, some of the question like uh, repeat were repeat questions and those uh, like uh, the tiklobidin question in which appeared in in ess that was given in uh, doc tutorial test series itself i had seen that question like uh, in in your uh, meet ss also we got two to three question exactly same like doc tutorial test series so that that elite test series were very helpful for me because it, the weekly test uh, series keeps us go- going and we uh, don't lose the track So, so what I doctor got more focused during last three months on nephrology only. So I divided my time sixty percent, forty percent. So sixty percent I utilized time for nephrology only, and forty percent I revised uh, Harrison portion. So for all the viewers who are watching this, just see the structured approach in which Doctor Smita has approached her residency and her preparation time. What she has said is, medicine is the foundation of the building. If you know medicine, then only you can even approach nephrology questions because. nephrology questions as the times are passing one liners are not those that commonly being asked now you are being asked clinical venia you are being asked approaches you are being asked what is the next step so if you have a comprehensive full 360 degree knowledge about medicine then only you can approach those questions so because her foundation of medicine was so strong she could have a very good you know uh, because her foundation was so strong that is why she built her building so very strong and beautifully and as she said we had doc tutorials had a weekly test plan where we divided the entire subject into modules and each module had 50 to 60 questions along with explanations and answers with references so and those questions were all newly curated or they were asked from previous years of neat ss so you know all the repeats were taken care of all the newer topics were taken care of and all the recent references along with the recent data were given to them so that they don't have to hunt and did you subscribe to the videos as well of nephrology no sir okay so just by doing the elite test series and by studying harrison and her medicine portion in details she has got a tremendous rank of of 16 so great job dr smita can you just take us through the neat ss exam the pattern the marking scheme and how was the exam the difficulty level like So like the like exam was sixty forty sixty questions were from uh, nephrology part and forty questions were from uh, medicine. So the medicine part two third questions were like neurology questions only. So those who have read uh, Harrison properly, those who uh, can get those questions correct. Nephrology part was uh, moderate level. Uh, so anyone who has prepared for nephrology can attend that. 
can attend those questions. In medicine, but neurology questions were two thirds. So those who are not revised CNS in the last month, I think uh, those might have lined up in in trouble. Okay, and how much did you attempt? Sir, I uh, attempted uh, total ninety seven questions. I left one question uh, in nephrology and two questions in medicine part. And how much do you think did you get right by retrospective analysis of your score? Actually, I didn't check the sir. Okay. Recall. Okay. So definitely, you must have got like uh, above eighty questions correct, and even yes. maybe more because yeah, ninety seven. Yeah. yeah, it comes around eighty five questions correct. Mm -hmm. What Doctor Smita has just said. is you need to attempt a higher number because only then can you be in the top 25 or the top 50 as she has done and you need to be you need to be you know uh, smart risk taker because sometimes you can just eliminate two options but because the negative marking is 1/4 that is why because you get a plus 4 for a correct answer and minus 1 for a wrong answer so because it is 25% you can take the chance because if you calculate the law of averages If you even get two right out of five, you mark you stay on the positive side. So that is absolutely correct what Dr. Smita has said. So for all the young viewers who are planning to sit for the NEET SS and wanting to become nephrologists, please listen to the strategy that the and the structured approach Dr. Smita has told you. Acha, Dr. Smita, uh, did you have any nephrology exposure before? Did you have you attended dialysis units? Have you attend seen transplant yes, patients before? Yes, sir. During the second year super specialty posting, we had exposure of one or two months in the nephrology department. During that time, we used to assess uh, like Jokar, Parmakar procedure, renal biopsy, uh, even peritoneal dialysis. Uh, CRT machine is not available at our center, so HD and uh, PD we have managed. So, did seeing those patients help you in cracking MCQs as well? Yes, sir. Actually, during that. Uh, just by reading you cannot understand everything you have to see the hd machine how it works then only you when you go back then you will understand the concept behind it so just by reading you cannot get through it you have to see and then read to understand better okay great so uh, did you sit for the ini ss as well yes sir and what rank did you get sir my cml was 15 and uh, eams rank was 13 okay so that is also a pretty good rank and that is also again you know very close to what she has got now so she and she has been a consistent performer in, in our elite test series as well because her ranks i would like to i would like to mention about your inter in ess interview mock session that was a wonderful experience for us like uh, it was a, like a rapid fire round uh, <laughs> where many images based questions were shown to us so it was very helpful during the in mock in the ss mock interview so basically dr smita what she saying is she had qualified for the second round of ini ss which was the interview conducted at the aims uh, new delhi and for that just the night before i had taken a mock ini ss interview and that is what she saying that because we had discussed a lot of image based questions a lot of you know concepts were cleared that very night yes, very sir. many students texted me sir i did not know this how i did not know how to make a syndrome like ekd part i got it <laughs> i remembered it that ekd part and that question appeared in neat ss yeah yeah that question appeared mm -hmm. in neat ss absolutely that's very same question that you know if any disease yes, is <laughs> more than that of aki but less than 3 months it is ekd mm -hmm. and that exact question came in neat ss that only we had discussed so what she is saying is when you are at a regular interaction with a mentor with a guide with an institute like ours doc tutorials you get helped in more way, ways than one because you have the videos you have the elite test series there is a whatsapp group a close whatsapp group where you know i'm open to questions at any point in time you can ask me i there are many students who share their problems with me i, I try to motivate them as well they teach me so much they you know many students they, give, they send videos and photos of live patients and they say they ask me sir this is the patient how do you approach i also learn from them i also try to help them so have you benefited dr smita with our you know sharing strategy yes sir and i would like to mention that audio clips shared by you during our last preparation phase was very helpful great so dr smita now you that you have got such a prestigious rank of 16 17 what is your plan all the nephrology you know rankers also want to know and the subscribers also want to know how do you where, where do you want to pursue your doctorate in nephrology 
So actually, I am uh, searching the bond status of various states. According to that, I will uh, decide. Okay. Any, any top two three institutes that you are aiming at? SGPJ Lucknow. Yes, of course. And uh, second will be the Delhi colleges only. Rest of the states have higher bonds. <laughs> okay. And uh, don't you want to pursue your in your own state as well only? Yes, I would like to consider it as well. Because KEM Hospital has a good nephrology course, so you can. It's a very good nephrology program, and uh, you, you being from Maharashtra, you would all, always want to go there. So yeah. that is that is uh, awesome. And uh, and uh, any parting note, any messages that you want to leave for the doc tutorials team, for the viewers, for the students who want to aspire to become nephrologists like you. Does it take to be superhuman, Doctor Smita? Yeah. A student, no, you know, no, was no. student was downtrodden. He didn't get a good rank. He was saying that sir, मुझसे नहीं होगा. Anything you want to tell him? Do you want to be somebody? क्या किसी के दिमाग में कुछ बहुत सुपर कंप्यूटर होना चाहिए शुड एनीवन बी फ्रॉम मार्स टू बी अ रैंकर लाइक यू व्हाट वुड यू से आई एम आल्सो एन एवरेज स्टूडेंट दैट्स टू मॉडेस्ट ऑफ यू टू से दैट ऑफ कोर्स यू आर टू ब्रिलियंट यू जस्ट हैव टू वर्क हार्ड यू जस्ट मेक योर ओन स्ट्रेटजी व्हिच इज सूटेबल टू यू लाइक माय स्ट्रेटजी वोंट बी सूटेबल टू एवरीवन दे हैव टू मेक देयर ओन एंड जस्ट फॉलो इट यू कैन गेट थ्रू इट सुपर सो व्हाट शी इज सेइंग इज इट इज नॉट अबाउट ब्रिलियंस और एक्सीलेंस दैट यू आर बोर्न विद it is the hard work and the persistence of hard work that you make will make you succeed because you know our medical profession i always say is a marathon it is not a 100 meter race hmm. it is not that after 100 50 60 meters who will be ahead in fact it is not even a race to be very honest it is your own path that you are carving out and always think long term don't yes. think about short term okay of course you have to divide your long goal into short goals but always think in a positive manner and keep working and definitely you will succeed so that is awesome and uh, that was great dr smita talking to you hope you become a very very good nephrologist hope Thank that you. we keep in touch and we meet at various nephrology seminars and webinars awesome. and uh, thank you so much it was thank a pleasure you. talking it was a pleasure talking to you thank you sir